Hey guys, well, I thought I would walk you through um, why I'm not using all of this gear that I have to make more polished YouTube videos. So I've been testing some things over the last few years and, you know, I've been away from YouTube for a while and I've been working out, you know, what's resonating with you and my clients. And I think it's authenticity. And so I just thought I'd quickly show you, like I have got like a proper full on studio setup here. So we've got like, you know, all these sound panels on the wall here and here. We've got like all this lighting and um, bass traps. We've got some really nice Genelec studio monitors. We've got the new MacBook Pro M1 Max there. Nice big 32 inch BenQ screen. 65 inch 8K screen. We've got some nice cool um, neon on the, on the on the wall there. We've got a nice hair light there, which these are all, these lights are all, um, what are they? Nanlite Forzas. I, I'm really a big fan of these um, round soft boxes with the grids. The fabric grids really help to focus the lights. That's like my hair light. And then I've got a, got a key light over here, which is a Nanlite Forza 300 and that's the key light. Uh, and then the, the main camera is like an A7S, all day school, the A7S. I've just got this new icon, ICAM. I think it's a 17 inch um, prompter. Audio flips between this overhead gun mic and I've just been playing with this Shure uh, microphone that's on a nice yellow tech arm, which I just swing out the way when I'm not working. All the audio goes through this um, Rodecaster Pro. I don't know if I can just swing that round there. Little ATEM Mini. And then I've got this kind of 17 inch screen. And then I'm, I'm running a full Final Cut Pro suite. I've got a, it's a 96 terabyte Drobo 8D, I think. And I've definitely got the capability to produce polished multi-cam um, videos with graphics and all that kind of thing. But I'm testing something different. And that is, you know, I've, I've on my YouTube channel over the years, let's see if I can swing this around. Um, I don't know if I can do that while I'm recording anyway. Uh, on my YouTube channel over the years, let's see if I can bring it up here. Um, you know, we've tested a lot of different kinds of content. And interestingly, you know, what, what I'm hoping to do with the YouTube channel is not become some famous YouTuber. So if I can swing this around here, you see there's the YouTube channel there. And I've got a lot of different things on there, which by the time you see this, will probably not be there anymore. Um, and we did, you know, years ago, we did this kind of Be Real series and we did like polished, edited four minute videos. We hired crews, we traveled around Asia and we, um, we made all this great content, it's not like Gary V style. So I guess what I wanted to share with you is that I have to test a lot of different things to see what works. And I think in marketing, that is that is kind of quite common. Like stuff in marketing doesn't always work straight away. Let me see, move this around a little bit. It doesn't always work straight away. Oh, I'm over, over the lens there. This is real and raw. Um, and so you have to try different things and I think what can happen is that you can end up um, confusing your audience by having too many different things to look at and to focus on. And so even though I could make really polished YouTube videos, I don't want to. And I'm, and I'm doing that for a very specific reason. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments is, you know, I'm not my business doesn't sell how to be a better filmmaker. It doesn't sell how to become more polished as a filmmaker. We, our clients, we help them grow their business. We help them grow their video business by helping them with marketing, systems, getting strategic, and, and holding people accountable to, to achieve their goals. And so when I make these videos, and you know, as, as a DP, like, I mean, it's lit well, but I'm not making the shots really polished because I actually want to polarize the audience. I don't want to have people in my world who are obsessed about 
the fact that I don't use a proper camera for these videos. I'm using my iPhone in some cases. Because that's not what we're all about. We're about helping people grow and scale the business. Now, it's not that I don't have, like, um, all of the cameras, because I, I literally do. I've got, like, literally, I've got in here, I've got... Um, Got lenses. I've got that's an A7. What's that? It's an A7R4. There. We've got. I've got a nice big, massive lens here. I'm just just doing this. Is, that's a kind of. Um, you can't really see it there. Let me just put the phone down for a second. <laughs> now just bring this out here. Because this has got caught here. So I've got like. Some really cool, that's the A7R, and I've got A7S. I've got, I've got all the gear. So I could make, I could easily make really polished videos. <laughs> I'm not making a very polished video today. But the, really what this is about, and I'm sorry if you're listening to this on the podcast, it's not gonna make a lot of sense. So go over to YouTube and, and check it out. But my point is, is that I am capable of making very polished videos, but I don't think it would help you if I did. I don't think it would help you become more successful if I did. So I'm just going to be really raw and and share how I do things and why I do things. Because I think that that will help you more than me producing a really polished video trying to convince you of something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one video out a week and I'm going to try some different bits of content to see what works. Um, and then I'm going to test to see which one works best. And I'll show you where I work from as well. This is like, this is like a, I don't know if you can see that there. I've got this cool big desk and stuff. I've got a great working environment. But um, it's just in our house. So we bought this house, which is like near the beach. And um, going to our lounge here, we've got a big... Home cinema setup where I use for use for color grading. Got a big hundred inch screen. Got these amazing um, stereo loudspeakers that weigh 105 kilos each. They're lead lined and they're like amazing. Got my my valve amp there. And then you know I can sit in here, and if I want to, I can work. Um, I can work from here. It's a really great space to watch content on the big screen. We've got this huge big. Um, 4K projector up here. And like, this is our house. This is our, this is our lounge room. Um, you probably hear the dogs downstairs. They're uh, getting agitated, they're down, down there. So we live in Australia and we're about 400 meters from the beach this way. And so we're able to, you know, have this great working environment. Got some of the pictures on the wall there. And you know, I go from my lounge room to my office um, pretty quickly, pretty easily. And um, it, it's great to have this environment working from home. And I used to have offices and stuff. And so I think really what, what, I've, what I've learned in the last year or two is, is to just be yourself. Like do what you do the way you do it and, and don't try to craft or create an illusion. For me, it's about really leaning into authenticity on an even, an even bigger way. I always feel like I've been quite authentic and quite honest, but I think sometimes we try and create a, a mask. We try and create, like we want our clients to look at us in a certain way. And I know in my early days of running a video business, that was the case. I wanted to look like a certain type of business. And now I'm just like, this is what we do, this is how we do it, how we help people. So I'd love to hear from you, um, do you have any hang-ups in your own business about how you present yourself to the market? Do you feel like you've got to give the impression that you've got an office and you're you're working with this team? Or, or do you just kind of be honest and be yourself and, and help clients get what they want? Anyway, let me know what you think of this video. Um, I'm just trying something different. And um, I'll see you in the next one.